the Marula is one of the most, if not the most important indigenous fruit tree in sub-Saharan Africa. It provides us with medicine from the bark, juice for preserves, beverages and making beer, oil from the kernels for cooking and skin care, flavors and fragrance from the fruit, shade and place for gatherings and traditional rituals. While there are many marula trees around, it is vital to protect and expand this resource through active tree planting so that future generations can continue to benefit from these trees. This video will provide you with a guide on how to successfully propagate and plant marula trees. We will look at sowing, transplanting the seedlings and then planting the trees. Marula trees can easily be grown from seed. Collect the seeds in summer when you are processing the fruit at home, for instance when making beer. Clean the seeds, let them dry out in the sun and store the seed in a dry place until you are ready for sowing. Marula seed is sown best in spring from August onwards. The seed normally germinates quite easily. You can use koya, which is coconut fiber, or mix together a seedling soil mix using soil from your area, sand and some compost or other organic matter such as pieces of bark. Mix them together. Then prepare a sewing tray with a layer of your koya or seedling soil mix, around 2 to 3 cm thick. Place the seed on top of the seedling medium, giving them sufficient space for when they are germinating. Cover with another 1 to 2 cm layer of your seedling medium. Water well and keep moist but not wet. Place the tray in a protected spot by your house where there is some shade. Check on your sewing tray once a day and add water when it is too dry. Germination should start happening around 3 weeks and continue up to 10 weeks. Once the seed is germinating, wait until the first two leaves are properly out and the seedling is strong enough to be transplanted into plant bags. Don't wait too long as the roots may start growing sideways, which will weaken the tree. Prepare your soil mix with some compost or other organic matter, some sand and some soil from your area. Make sure that the mix is not too heavy and sticky as the tree roots will struggle to develop well. If your soil contains a lot of clay, add more sand. Fill the plant bags two-thirds with your soil mix and place the seedling into the bag and top up with the soil. Compress the soil a little so that the roots are nicely surrounded by soil. Water the trees well and keep moist but not wet in the weeks to come. Keep the seedling in a shady place close to your house so you can check on them daily. You will look after your young trees until they can be planted in spring one year later. This will give them enough time to grow strong enough for the harsher conditions they will face when you plant them out. When the trees are old and strong enough in the next spring, they can be planted. Prepare a sufficiently sized hole, at least 50 cm wide and 50 cm or more deep. If you don't have compost, gather some organic matter from your surroundings like small stick pieces, grass and leaves. Add the compost or organic matter into the hole together with some soil and mix everything together nicely. Remove the tree from the bag or pot and place it on top of the soil. Add more of the soil mix around the tree to fill up the hole and compact the soil so that the tree stands firm. Create a basin around the tree where the water can collect when you water it and not run away. Bring some mulching material like bark or grass and place on top of the soil and around the young tree. This will help keep the soil moist longer. Water your tree. Come back often and check on the growth of the young tree and see it grow. In a few years from now, it will start rewarding you with lots of good fruit. Planting trees in itself is a valuable and necessary activity. Trees help us in combating climate change by absorbing carbon dioxide and producing oxygen for us to breathe. Trees give shade and cool the environment. Their roots hold the soil and prevent erosion.
They improve the water quality and hold the groundwater table closer to the surface. Trees can even reduce stress in people. Planting trees is our contribution to the future, benefiting our children for generations to come.